now been revealed to be titled Venom 2 Let There Be Carnage. The film was holding on to the date of October 2nd, 2020, but with it in the middle of shooting, some expected the film to get a push at some point due to the nature of the coronavirus related delays in movie production. That is now officially the case as Sony and Marvel Studios adding another big film to 2021's crazy slate of releases and removing another big tentpole film from 2020's lineup. Venom 2 was one of the last big films to keep its original release date, as even films that were slated for 2020 had at least moved their release to later in the year. That included Sony, who previously moved Morbius to next year. That also included Marvel Studios, who moved Black Widow and The Eternals to new release dates, and thus a few of their other big Phase 4 movies. Now 2021 and 2022 are extremely packed, which is great news for those years but leaves 2020 not quite as full as it was previously. Regarding the Venom sequel, we had already seen shots of Woody Harrelson's carnage on the set, though we have yet to see the actual red symbiote since all that is done with visual effects. We'll have to wait for a teaser trailer for that, but it appears fans will have to wait a bit longer before that happens thanks to the new release date. What are your thoughts on the new Venom 2 title and the new release date? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to check out moviegasm.com. My name is Blaine and we appreciate you sticking around until the end. came all the way up here. There's nothing left. Please. There are people out there worth saving. You don't know, do you? I do. Hey, remember that one summer we died under a table? I found it in my living room. Whoa, killer replica. A replica of what? A ghost trap? There hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. New York in the 80s, it's like The Walking Dead. Your dad never mentioned this to you? It's just my mom. My grandfather died. My mom says we're just here to pick through the rubble of his life. Wait a minute. Who are you? Call it fate. Call it luck. He's very angry. We assume he has an accomplice helping him on the outside. I don't care how smart he is or who's helping him. Assemble Task Force X. We 
have another suicide mission. My name is Amanda Waller. I have an offer for you. A way to work off your sentence. As it turns out, I have need of someone with your singular qualifications. For what? For a unit I'm putting together. What type of unit? Actually, it's more of a squad. Princess without voice. What would I say? I gotta do something. You know, this isn't a good idea. It's crazy, but this is all I got. Standing by for your go. You believe you'd be the one to unite our two worlds. Now I need something more. A hero. I always said one of these days I was going to get out. Today is not that day. Hello, Mr. Hunt. Don't speak. Just listen. I'm currently in New York. The tracking implant in your brain tells me you're in Los Angeles. Well, Mr. Hunt, I've put a bomb, a very big bomb, in the middle of Times Square. And unless you want millions of innocent people to die, I suggest you get there fast. You have 30 days, Mr. Hunt. 30 days to get from Los Angeles to New York. Impossible. Ethan, you gotta get him. Get that son of a bitch. But I had to try. So I ran. And ran. When I got tired, I slept. When I got hungry, I ate. When I had to go, you know, I went. Why are you running? Are you doing this for world peace? Are you doing this for the homeless? Are you running for women's rights? Or for the environment? Why are you doing this? I just felt like running. You just ran. I didn't choose this mission. It chose me.
Life is like a massive bomb. You never know if it'll detonate. Gotham's got more. Way fucking worse. His parents were murdered in that alley. Poor kid watched the whole thing happen in front of him. What do you suppose something like this does to a kid? It's amazing to meet you. Bruce Wayne. Batman is Bruce Wayne. Do you have extraordinary gifts like something out of a comic book? You are a protector. Makes me feel free in a way I've never known. Murder of Mysterio. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. The true identity of Spider-Man is a high school kid in Queens named Peter Parker. A teenage psychopath armed to the teeth, wielding powers he has no right to possess, trying to pass himself off as a hero. This is Mr. Murdoch. Mr. Parker? I have a soft spot for hopeless causes. It was a bad joke, sorry. Our world is changing. The mass extinction we feared has already begun, and we are the cause. Oh my god. How many times do you have to see the evidence? We're causing our own extinction. Too many red lines have been crossed. Somebody totally different. I got things inside my head that don't make sense. Dreams that I can't explain. We're going to organize, dedicate ourselves to the revolutionary power. 